coffee for Alzheimer's. Promising research results. Whether espresso, latte or americano, coffee stimulates and activates. Which is why many cannot imagine the morning without a cup of small black coffee. But coffee can do much more than just wake you up. New research has shown that the compounds contained in it can inhibit the aggregation of tau proteins that contribute to the development of Alzheimer's disease. And although the experiments were carried out in a Petri dish, Scientists say that similar results can be achieved by drinking several cups of coffee a day. Alzheimer's disease affects older people, most often after the age of 65. However, it starts much earlier. We're still not sure how. But abnormal amounts of amyloid beta and tau seem to play a big role in the development of the disease. Importantly, these proteins begin to concentrate in the brain decades before the onset of symptoms such as memory loss. Scientists now believe the disease emerges from both genetic and environmental factors, although the exact processes that cause it remain a mystery. Despite the lack of clarity as to the causes of the disease, it is clear that the aging process leads to changes that drive its development. More and more people are suffering from Alzheimer's disease, and this is associated with increasing life expectancy. Unfortunately, this disease has now become the fifth leading cause of death worldwide. A recent study published in the ACS Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry gives new hope. In preliminary in vitro laboratory tests, Italian scientists have shown that compounds contained in espresso can inhibit the aggregation of tau proteins associated with Alzheimer's disease. Several studies conducted over the past few years have suggested the neuroprotective effects of coffee. The authors of the new study decided to check how ordinary espresso affects the development and behavior of these pathological clusters of proteins in the brain. Using coffee beans available on the market, they prepared espresso and then studied its composition. To prepare espresso, hot water is passed through finely ground coffee beans, creating a concentrated extract. It is often used as a base for other types of coffee, such as Americano or Latte. In healthy people, Tau proteins help stabilize structures in the brain. But when certain diseases develop, these proteins can clump together. It has been suggested previously that if the aggregation of tau proteins could be prevented, the symptoms of the disease could be alleviated. Scientists have isolated several compounds from espresso, including the alkaloids caffeine and trigonoline. 
as well as the flavonoids genistein and the obromine. These compounds were incubated with a shortened form of tau protein for 40 hours. They also treated tau proteins with espresso alone. Without extracting selected compounds from it, to check the combined effect of all these compounds on tau protein aggregation. The results showed that caffeine, genistein and coffee extract alone inhibited the formation of tau plaques in a dose-dependent manner with the length of tau fibers decreasing with increasing concentration of these compounds. The coffee extract turned out to be the most effective. It has been found to disrupt the shape of tau aggregates. The effect of the coffee extract was remarkable. Even in the presence of small amounts of the mixture, the formation of long fibers was inhibited and only a few short protein fibers were visible, the researchers explain. In their studies, they also observed that the shortened fibrils are non-toxic to cells and do not act as seeds for further aggregation. Further experiments revealed that caffeine also has the potential to bind preformed tau proteins. They also showed that the coffee extract prevented the formation of tau protein condensates which are believed to be precursors of atherosclerotic plaques. Our results demonstrate another interesting property of the coffee extract in interfering with the early stages leading to pathological tau accumulation, the study authors wrote. In the next step, the researchers added human embryonic kidney cells to the mixture of tau proteins, coffee and compounds isolated from it. They found that the tau proteins caused much less damage to these cells. According to the authors of the study, Drinking two or three espressos a day can provide significant amounts of both caffeine and genistein, which can cross the blood-brain barrier and exert neuroprotective effects. Given that the concentration of tau proteins in the brain is usually about 25 times lower than the levels used in this study. Researchers speculate that drinking coffee may help prevent the aggregation of these proteins and protect against Alzheimer's disease. Of course, such claims will need to be verified by appropriate clinical trials. Nevertheless, the study authors claim that moderate coffee consumption may provide enough bioactive molecules to inhibit tau protein aggregation.